a rectangular plot with uh, length 55 meters and width is 45 meters has two concrete crossroads of equal width, right? Both the uh, roads are of equal width running in the middle of it, one parallel to the length and the other parallel to the breadth. So if you, if you try and visualize the figure here, there is a rectangular plot, the length of which is 55 and the breadth is 45, right? So this is the length 55 meters and the breadth is 45 meters, right? Now it has two concrete crossroads, two concrete crossroads running in the middle of it, one parallel to the length and another parallel to the breadth. So basically there's, see this is the length. So there's a concrete road in the middle, parallel to the length. And then there is a road parallel to the breadth. So this is like a crossroads. I mean, it, though it looks like a flag of Switzerland, it's like this, you know, this is the crossroad. This, you know, this plus sign that you see is that crossroad and this is the plot. Now the rest of the plot is used as lawn. Rest of the plot is what? This area, this, this shaded portions are used as lawn. You get it? So there are like four smaller rectangles which are used as lawn. And in the middle we have crossroads, concrete crossroads. Now the area of the lawn is 1911. So put, you know, area of this lawn, total area of the lawn is 1911. What is the width of each of the crossroads? What is the width of each of the crossroads? So basically we have to find out the width, width of each of the crossroads. Of course, both the crossroads are of equal width. So we don't have to worry about two different widths here, right? He is given of equal width, right? So what do we do? First of all, let us find out the area of the crossroads. Area of the crossroads. See, area of crossroads, will be equal to what? Area of rectangle minus area of lawn. From the total area of the rectangle, if you subtract the area of the lawn, we we'll get the remaining area into the area of the crossroads. So do that. Area of rectangle will be what? 40, uh, 55 into 45. You know, right? Area of a rectangle is length into breadth, both of which are given to us. Minus area of lawn is straight away given as 1911. Simplify this. 55 into 45 will be 2475. How do you do this? 50 plus 5, 50 minus 5. 55 should be taken as 50 plus 5. 45 can be taken as 50 minus 5. So that, that will be the form of A plus B into A minus B. A squared minus B squared, right? So 50 square minus 5 square will be 2475. 2475 minus 1911 will give you how much? 2400 minus 1900 is 500. And 75 minus 70 is 64. So this is like 564. 564 meters square. This is the area of crossroads, area of the crossroads. Now, how will you measure the area of the, we have already got the numerical value, but as such, let's say if you have to measure, let's assume the width of the crossroad is x, the width is x. What will be the total area? See, what will be the area of this portion? Area of this horizontal crossroad, horizontal crossroad, length is 55, it is parallel to the length, right? So length is 55 and width is x. So we can say 55x plus, what will be the area of the vertical crossroad? This time the length is 45, right? And the width is x only, breadth is x. So 45x. So 55x plus 45x is equal to 564. If this is what you are feeling, you are wrong. If this is what is your understanding, you are wrong. Because when you add 55x plus 45x, you have considered this small square in the middle twice. You understand? This fully shaded box that we have, has been counted twice in the horizontal crossroad as well as in the vertical crossroad. So that has to be taken care of. Now what is the area of the shaded box? X square. See, this is like a square, right? Both the sides are X and X. So X square. So from this 55 X plus 45 X, you have to subtract X square. Now this is balanced and X is the width. So one equation, one unknown, you can solve and get the answer. Are you able to follow? 55 X is the horizontal crossroad. 45x is the vertical crossroad, but by adding these two areas, you get the common area being counted twice. You have to remove that. So x square has to be subtracted. So basically, 100x minus x square is 564. Now, this is a quadratic equation which you can simplify, find out the two values of x, one of which would probably be negative and the other one can be taken as an answer. But a smart student will not solve the quadratic equation. Instead, he will substitute the options one after the other and see which one satisfies, right? Substitute 5. See, you know that if you substitute 5, this is 500. 500 minus something cannot be 564. So 5 is cancelled. Similarly, if you substitute 5.5, 5.5 into 100 is 550. 550 minus something cannot be 564. So cancelled. Substitute 6. Again, 4 and 4.5 are anyway ruled out. See, anything less than 6 here cannot be the answer. 
let's say if you take 5 point you, you're getting it anything less than 5.5 cannot be the answer because if you substitute 5.5 you get 550 550 minus something can it be 564 no so anything less than 5.5 is wrong so 5 5.5 5, 4 and 4.5 are all gone only option left out is 6 and that has to be the answer substitute 6 what happens 6 into 100 600 minus 6 square 36 6 and minus 36 is 564 so option 3 6 will be the answer so elimination what are we doing we are not solving the quadratic equation we are using elimination method or substitution you are substituting the options back into the question to see which one satisfies ok option 3 6 would be the answer now I'm sure many of us would go wrong in, in this step. You will not consider minus x square. Minus x square. Right? So be careful about this. x square has to be subtracted. And then don't write all these unnecessary steps. First of all, I would say no need to draw the diagram. You can, you can visualize that, right? So cut that part. Don't write this equation. Don't write any of these steps. You, you know that the area of the crossroads will be 55 into 45, which is 2475 minus 911. So the only step that you put in paper is this. And substitute the values. So it wouldn't take more than 30-35 seconds. Alright?